Hey, how's it going, pop-up camper family? Welcome back to It's Poppin'. So, <laughs> funnily enough, probably over the last six months, the most frequently asked question we get is, what is the pop-up camper cover that you guys had? Some of you may have seen it in our, um, well, our Fleetwood, our 2007 Fleetwood Niagara um, reveal video, if you will, and uh, well, I purposely didn't mention it because, well, I wanted to take a little bit of time and, well, you know, kind of uh, just review it and, I don't know, see how it held up, right? So, like I said, we've had this for about six months. Uh, in all honesty, I would have liked to have, you know, let it do its thing, sit here, experience the weather and the elements for at least a year, but you guys just keep asking me. So, without further ado, Let's jump into it. So the cover that we use is called the Gear Flag pop-up camper cover, and specifically the one we have um, that is actually on our 2008 Jayco Select 12 HW um, is the 14 to 16 foot uh, variety or model, if you will. Um, but also, the, one of the good reasons we got this as well is that eventually at some point, we won't have our Jayco anymore. Uh, this will also work perfectly on our uh, 2007, um, uh, oh, blanking out, Fleetwood, our Fleetwood Niagara. So uh, just for reference, um, both our uh, Jayco as well as the Fleetwood are um, right around 15 feet in terms of the box length. So that's why this 14 to 16 foot um, length came in, uh, you know, essentially perfect for our needs. So in the interest of not wasting any time, over the last six months, based on what we've seen, would I recommend this particular um, cover for your guys' pop-up camper? And I think the answer is yes. As of the six months, it's been through um, a lot of storms, um, even a hailstorm, as a matter of fact. Um, the only thing it really hasn't seen is snow. So it hasn't been covered with snow. It hasn't really, you know, sat for years upon years upon years and gotten exposed to a bunch of UV rays. So take this for what, for what it's worth. Um, if I had to recommend a cover, uh, just based on our six months of experience with it, um, I definitely would recommend it at this point. Uh, so we'll be sure to throw a link in the description. That way you guys can find it easily enough and just select whatever length is appropriate for you guys. Let me just show you around this thing and kind of show you how it all works. So, I mean, as you can see, it is a nice ventilated uh, cover and these are actually have some pros and cons to them. Um, as you might be able to see while we're out here, it's decently windy out. And this actually flaps in the wind a little bit, which is great for ventilation. However, I will say that it's kind of a double-edged sword in the terms that if it's raining out and also windy, and it's kind of a, you know, a sideways rain, that might let some water in. And we have found where, um, water gets on the roof or whatnot if we kind of have that sideways wind. So, like I said, a little bit of a double-edged sword, kind of a pro and a con in terms of the ventilation. Now, when you get your cover, it's not going to have these straps tied on how we have them. Uh, so essentially what we did is we put the whole cover on, and then these guys are actually, let me see if I can pop one off, they're a bendable metal, and as you can see, they kind of just go up and under the frame and hook in. So what we did is because these were unattached, these bungees here were unattached, we hooked it on and then stretched this taut and then you just tie tie a knot where it um, you know is sewn into the top of your cover here and essentially rinse and repeat for four bungees on each side. So another nice thing about having only a 15 foot box and then this being the 14 to 16 foot version is that we actually get a little bit extra, oh, space on the cover if you will. So you can kind of see here, but we're able to cover up our propane tanks as well. It, 
<sighs> I haven't tried to stretch it all the way over to the battery. It might do it. But if we go to the back side, you guys can see that we also have enough uh, length or room, if you will, to also cover up that rear tire. Granted, we do have a uh, tire cover on it already. But, you know, once again, it's just, I don't know, kind of nice that it covers up everything on the backside as well. So we did two things to make this cover work a little bit better for our needs. And first thing we did is because we have a roof rack, actually we have roof racks on both of our pop-ups. What I did, just because I didn't want, you know, to encourage um, this to wear any more than it might have, is I just put a simple piece of uh, Gorilla Tape right where it uh, hits on the um, roof rack bar there just so it's got a little bit of extra, you know, protection. So that was the first thing we did. And of course I did that on all four corners. Um, and I actually did it also for the, the Fleetwood that's in the garage. So that's hence the different pieces of tape there. But I mean, shoot, go crazy. You can put tape wherever you want to put it. But the other thing, and this was really helpful with uh, the roof rack, as you can see here, is I just took a spare piece of lumber and put it right in the middle of our roof rack right there. And then that way, it um, encourages, or I guess I should say prevents pooling in the middle. Otherwise, without that two by four there, what, what we ended up seeing is that rainwater would catch in between our two um, crossbars on our roof there, which was annoying to have, you know, water just sitting on there. Then I'd have to come up and, or come out and, uh, you know, kind of toss the cover up and down a few times to get that water to not pool so those are two things just the duct tape and you know really you could put a plywood board or a two by four if you have a roof rack just so it gets that nice slope and you don't have any uh rain water pooling there so just a couple of modifications to make it that much better all right guys so that's the pop-up camper cover that we use it's the gear flag brand we bought this with our own money um i went out and read a lot of reviews on pop-up camper covers and this one seemed to be the best one. Like I said before, time will tell. Hopefully this will last, you know, a number of years and we'll get some good life out of it. Um, but just, I want to jump ahead of hopefully some questions that might want might come up because these are quite a bit more expensive than just like a basic tarp. And it's perhaps not too common knowledge, but you actually want to let your pop-up camper breathe when it's in storage like this. Um, and the reason tarps are not recommended is, well, they're impermeable, they don't allow the pop-up to breathe, and that can, of course, lead to moisture problems, mold, uh, things of that nature. So that's why it's not recommended to use a tarp. I know people have had luck with those in the past, and maybe it's just their particular configuration, but hence the breathable tarp um, or breathable cover is what's recommended um, if you're going to do anything at all. Now, I know a lot of you guys, uh, you know, it's fall now, hopefully, uh, well, I guess, unfortunately, <laughs> pop-up camper and pop-up camping season is kind of coming to an end for some people. Um, so if you're looking uh, for a cover for your pop-up, if it's gonna be stored outside, this is a great option. Um, but even for those of you who might uh, be jumping into your camping season down south, uh, this is a great option for keeping the UV rays off of your pop-up. Um, in theory, uh, like I said, time will tell, but in theory, it should uh, keep, you know, like things like your caulk and your decals, and maybe even if you're, um, if you don't have a high wall, it might cover up a little bit of the tires to keep those UV rays off of things and maybe make it last a little bit longer. So, with all that being said, guys, at this point in time, highly recommend uh, this pop up camper cover. And as always, hopefully we see you in the next video. If not, hopefully we see you out there camping.